Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. <gasps> what a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Stop this bitch. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. Slap her. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> fucking kick her in her fucking bitch ass. Oh, I'm so mad. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, uh, real. Yes, Victoria, I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Real fucking, real fucking clever. Fuck your selfie. Yeah, you think you're real smart, huh? You're more hipster than me, you stupid. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. Climb up the ladder, girl. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Okay, I was gonna I say. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I was gonna say, pour paint on her. Just throw paint on her. No. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? No, yeah, don't mess with the ladder. Samuel will get hurt. Now what to do, what to do? Oh, I can go in through here? What's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What's interactable in here? There's a door. A light switch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, look inside this thing. A water pump. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. <laughs> Alright then. Can we use it? Can I maybe... Oh. Oh. If I turn it off, Sam will... Come this back here, right? This sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. No, I can't do anything with it. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, didn't mean to rewind time. Can I run? Please? Okay, there we go. Got it. Sam's up there. I need to figure this out. Hold LT to rewind. How do I... Okay, so I'm missing something. Boom. Right about here, right? Alright. Now what to do, what to do. Oh, sprinkler. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. There we go. I need to figure this out. Guess the sprinkler was wrong too. Okay, what if I just grab the paint? There we go. Damn, damn it, there we hmm. go. A paint bucket next- I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Oh, alright. Grab it. Grab it. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Alright, Sammy, alright, there you go. Whoa! Whoa, why did the screen turn red? There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Alright. Shit, that was... It wasn't complicated, but it took a little... It took a little thinking. Hmm, let's, let's watch what happens. So when I rewinded way too much, the edges of the screen became all red, so I'm guessing there's a limit to how much we can do it, and maybe it causes max pain? Not sure, but we're going to get some front row seats for this action, right here. Awesome. No. Alright, alright. So, how did- There we go! Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Oh. Fuck. Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Um... Maybe... I have to work the sprinkler too. Alright. Fuck with the sprinkler. Skip. Okay, let's see if this works. Run over to. I mean, fuck with the bucket and then run over to the sprinkler. 
use it. Yeah. What there the we heck? go. Are you kidding? <laughs> there we what? go. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Sweet. Can't wait for this to. Yes. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Samuel. Sorry. Fuck yeah. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on. No. Hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, don't mess with me. I don't even feel bad. I think I normally would feel bad, but damn, girl, you cannot treat people like that. You're too mean. Oh, man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Well, then why is she such a bitch? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ah, uh, comfort her. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Whatever, poser. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. God. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. No, it wasn't. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Nah. Nah, it's okay. Just because people are mean to you doesn't mean you have to be mean back. We're gonna be better than that. Red rum. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Oh, is that Amber's I'm room? I'm pissed we took so long. Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Let's look at these. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. Reward. Um, there's serious life-threatening diseases, blah blah blah. Reward. My backpack with all my school books and new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. Um, to the bitch that stole my Franju new, fra new face creme. That was expensive shit and I needed for my acne. <laughs> I know exactly how it I know exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Ho oh, ho Damn Damn girls Okay, where's our room? Stomp 'em Bigfoots. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Okay, that's not my room. Uh Juliet, read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Juliet, extreme reporter. Alright. What is in here? This is an open room. Showers. Showers open? No, they're not. Ah, uh, this is the bathroom. Take a look. Oh, wait. Oh, what the? Ew! Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Jeez. These girls are messy. Look. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Well, bang for Jesus. Oh, is that Kate? Oh. Oh, man. So, everybody's pegging her as a... as a, some kind of, like, promiscuous person. I don't know if it's real oh, or Victoria, not. Victoria, give me a fucking break. Me they change you wish to see. <laughs> fucking hypocrite. Max's room? Oh, this is my room. Nice. Let's, uh, let's draw something. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. We do now. <laughs> oh my god! 
Obvious but true. Oh my god. Oh, Teddy Bear's missing an eye. She plays guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Alright. Don't worry, Max. I swear by the end of this game, you're gonna be a beautiful butterfly. We're gonna get you there. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Oh. I'm just more stressed. Text from mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told me some tall tales about Blackwell honor student. Oh, fucking dick, principal. This is true. The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he was worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, mom. Fuck. Is that considered a selfie? Let's put it on the wall. Um, after we take a Ahoy, look at Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, oh, I knew so we were cute. bonded forever. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such to a Max or whom ball. it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren. Huh. Take a look at our book? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Mm -hmm. The Martian Chronicles are my favorite. I'm glad oh. Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Damn it, I'm trying to get the thing inside the cabinet. The instant film. But it keeps triggering the book. Um, slowly walk- there we go. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Oh, so we're kind of a hipster. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Then water it. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Giddy. Alright. Oh, yay! Consequences. This is the first consequence that I've been happy about, actually. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Okay, sticky note. Take a look at it. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Hugs and kisses, D. Okay, so she- Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's yeah, room. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Let's look. What is it? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Okay, this girl is totally a photography nerd. I don't know a single thing she just said. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Oh man, that's so sad. A quick sketch of my new muse, that's so cute. Um... Okay, so I thought we were in Washington because of Seattle. Oh, she might have moved from Seattle, Washington to Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Okay. I am so addicted to this site. <laughs> Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> okay. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV cult classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how our camera works? Be seeing you, Warren G. Hmm. It's nice. Friends are good. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Oh my god, look at the braces. 
Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont troll. This is so interesting. I'm just... It's like I'm learning stuff about myself. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. And we're such... Such art nerd. We're such an art nerd. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Yeah. I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Up in the drawer. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Okay. So... How, when was this taken? Were they still children? She's 18 now. She hasn't been back for five years. That means they were around 13. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh, that's sweet. Do I lie down? I should probably go get that flash drive. Oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it's gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Oh man, I really like this game. The music is totally gonna get content ID flagged though. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Ooh. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never, we'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you are following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. That's sweet. Huh. Let's take a look. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Hmm. Can you play? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Actually, I'm gonna turn off the music first and then play it. I can't hear anything. I am digging the music though. Okay. Okay. Let's see how good Max is. Pretty nice. It's probably just gonna loop like that though, so let's stop and get a move on. Huh. Let's take a look at that first. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Off to Dana's room. I feel like oh. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Alright, I found her. Excuse me, lady. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so oh, so you're Juliet. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh. Ouch. How did you find out? 
Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. Fuck. That's why I'm talking to you. Maybe now. I want to be friends. What's my last name? Oh. Uh, Juliet Mason, Juliet Olson, Patson, Watson, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name. Fuck at yeah, all. one try. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. That's a- Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Th but I bet Victoria that makes no goddamn sense! Are you fucking serious? That makes no goddamn sense. You didn't even see the sext. Oh, bitch! I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Mm. God damn it. Okay. Uh, hello? Alright. Alright, let's go talk to Victoria. God, fucking drama. God. No need to go oh, there now. Leave the girls to talk. Okay. So, how do I. Oh, let's go talk to Victoria. She's probably in here by now. Uh, she was the Gandhi room. There we go. Oh, we probably should not have walked in here. Alright, alright, alright. I kind of want to look around. But I should probably respect people's privacy. No, uh, seeing how this game is going right now, if I start snooping around, she'd probably find out. And bust me for it. Leaflet? Mark, international photographer, Mark Jefferson, exhibit. Missing persons folks? Ooh, what the fuck? She's a missing person. How can you write bitch all over it? Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Jeez, I thought they hung out. Oh, I don't understand these kinds of people. Victoria is a real Jefferson group. Hell yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, as long as I don't touch anything. Oh, don't tell me I have to use the laptop. Fuck. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at the jewelry. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Just look at it. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Just look. She's actually got a classic medium-format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Victor Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and you wish you success in your future endeavors. Best, Amanda Croft. Uh, look at the poster. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Oh, huh. okay. All right, since I can look without touching, I'm gonna look at everything. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. She has a TV. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final <laughs> Fantasy Spirits with them. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Yeah, that's pretty good. I liked it. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Let's read this. Is the Vortex Club a cult by Juliet Watson? One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club started in the neon 18, 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Regan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the pure pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic then that the revolutionary ruse of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy of one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Mm, continuing on next page? There is no next page. Alright. All right then. Looks like our only choice is to use her computer. How terrible. 
I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Okay. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Fuck. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. This is why people need more common sense. <laughs> Dumbass believe me, so I expect there to be dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. Oh! As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. You are an awful person. Victoria Chase. Alrighty, how do I print the email? Yeah, there we go. Should have just taken a photo of it, girl. That probably would have done. Why'd you have to freaking print? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's go do it. Oh, huh? I really expected Victoria to be right there. Yo, quit being crazy. Juliet, read this. Horse. Yeah, no shit, stupid. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. God, friendship is so complex yet so beautiful. Jesus Christ. That was that was weird. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Is this what girls are really like? Somebody please tell me. Oh, I'm gonna look around your room too. It would be a cool sticker without the words. What wait, what words? Oh, Vortex Club. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. Hugs and kisses, Logan. You have terrible writing. Alright. Um, what is- That looks like a home project. Oh! Oh, shouldn't have taken it. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank Fuck. you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy. I again. fucked up. Go back. I did not know. I could rewind and make it up to her. Oh my god. It's one of the Oh my god, the beauty of this game. It's one of those things where if you fucked up and you know you fucked up, you can just retry again. This is amazing. I love it. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> oh, I like this girl. She's funny. Oh, this girl's funny. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. I shouldn't. Um... Do I use the flash drive? I better make sure everything is still in there. Oh, uh, flash drive? I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. What? Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Weird science, homework, Warren G's incredible film library, greatest TV shows ever, Muzak, randoms, not downloaded, the party buster, whole unholy obscenities. I wanna, I wanna know what's in there. And this one for me. Hmm. Okay. Okie dokie. Don't. Don't take the pregnancy test. Just look at it. La la la. I don't see that pregnancy no, test. No, I don't. I don't know what the hell that is. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. And I see a note. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Oh. Okay. Don't. I don't. I don't see that. Can I talk to her then? Yeah. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Fuck. So that's what Logan's note is about. Is that how he pussed out? This is both sad and pathetic. Did he puss out about not going to the clinic with her? Hmm. 
Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Um, how does one even do that? How did she lock you out of your room from the outside? Um, I heard... Mm, Victoria's not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Um, yeah, I guess yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> uh. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Now I feel too wiped out to oh, leave. Oh, let's t I want to talk to you some more. All right. Hey, Dana. Um, Juliet gets her rage on. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Okay. Um, let's find out what happens when I say, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Now I feel too wiped out. We're gonna to find me. out the other dialogue. Hey, Dana. Seriously. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Yes. Of course. I was pregnant. Oh. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Hmm... How good friends are we? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Shit. Shit. If it's not Zack, then pathetic. it's Logan. Maternity book? Fuck. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Fuck, dude. Dude. That's some shit right there. Okay.